AutoCAD has a coordinate system and usually it comes here left at bottom. I just bring it a little bit in center and as you can see there is a line and an X. This is X axis and there is an another line and a Y axis as with green and this is the point this small square here is zero zero absolute zero zero now for a better understanding of this coordinate system I have some drawing and I will place exactly on the center now let's select the drawing press M press enter M from moving and I, I will place on top of this okay and I will zoom in a little bit so we have in AutoCAD two coordinate system Cartesian coordinates and it's about distances and we have the other coordinate system that is a polar coordinate and this rely on angles now let's get back to the Cartesian coordinates that is the most important as you can see this goes positive upwards also goes positive one two three and so on and when we can come down from the absolute zero zero coordinates we have minus one minus two and the same on left size uh, left side so for example if we want to draw a line from here to here we will specify the start of the line being one one and the end of the line will be 2, 2. As you can see here with green I just draw something to be easy to understand. So the first number is all the time x and the second number is y. So how much goes on x axis? 2 units, 1, 2 units. How much goes on y axis? The second number. 3, 1, 2, 3 units and the corner or the intersection of these two lines is that point of coordinates 2 and 3 just remember all the time the first number is x the second one is y now here with red we have minus 3 first x goes minus 3 and 1 on y axis we have with a blue here minus one minus one on x minus two on way axis so if it's possible take a mental picture of this Cartesian coordinates because it will be very useful later especially in the lesson when we talk about lines now let's go to the other coordinate system and it's polar coordinates and has to do with angles and make here also a mental picture and remember all the time zero is on the right side so AutoCAD will start measuring angles from this zero 45 90 and so on and if you will want to go backwards you have to add a minus and will be minus 45 minus 90 and so on so it doesn't start from here measuring degree or from here this has to be kept in mind that zero is on x axis on the right side and from here it goes positive or negative so this is about coordinates but as I said in the lesson presenting line in AutoCAD we will have to do also with these two coordinates system.
stay on the channel subscribe because more video more tutorials about AutoCAD FreeCAD will come on this channel Thank you.